this is the meniscus. So the meniscus should be one solid piece of tissue. I always mention to people, it's kind of like a, like a marshmallow. It sits into the joint and acts like a shock absorber. But you can see this is not one piece. This is torn all kinds of the bits. And that's what we saw on the MRI. So let's have the oyster biter. So what we do is we remove the torn part of the meniscus. Just uh, whatever biter we have. And, yeah, perfect. So there are a lot of different, you could open that one too. There are a lot of different instruments that we use. And so that this is this is just a straight biter. And it is exactly what you think. Again, sorry to insult any of the orthopedic surgeons uh, on the uh, line. Um, so all I'm doing is, is biting away the torn part of the meniscus. You know, you hear people talk about, oh, I have my meniscus repaired. Well, certainly in some clinical situations, we repair the meniscus. But when you've developed arthritis change or, you know, are older, we tend to just remove the torn part. So we're going to remove all the portion of this meniscus that's torn. And you'll see that when we get done here, what we leave behind will obviously be far less tissue, um, but nothing will be caught or hanging in the joint that can cause damage. So I'm going to do this kind of intentionally in a couple of sequences here, guys, just so you can see um, exactly what we're doing. So we started with that pretty nasty tear, and then now we're just this is a shaver that's just going to take out all the badness and make everything beautiful again. So you can see how it's not, you know, now it's just missing, right? So that's where meniscectomy comes from. We're removing the torn part of the meniscus. And again, the, the clinical question here, the clinical debate, as, as quote unquote simple as this case is, the clinical complaint is how much can a knee scope help in a patient that already has arthritis. Well, because he has bone on bone on the contralateral side, I thought it was worthwhile uh, to debride his meniscus, smooth out the cartilage damage. We call that chondroplasty and give him the best shot. He actually has no pain. I think I mentioned that a couple of times, but he has no pain in his other knee, despite the x-ray is bone on bone. Let me have that straight lighter too. So you can see I'm just working back the meniscus, right? Because I want to remove all the torn portion of the meniscus but obviously I want to save as much of the meniscus as I can. So lots of times the question comes up, you know, when you, when you smooth out the cartilage damage, aren't you, aren't you removing more cartilage, right? Aren't you making the arthritis worse? And that's actually true. I think that, I think if people ask that question, they understand the process here. We're trying to take away the mechanical problems uh, of the uh, torn tissue but you'll also note I'm trying to be real careful and leave as much of this meniscus as possible because again, the meniscus is a cushion that protects the cartilage. So anything I can leave, I wanna leave. And then any of this softening of the cartilage or fraying, you know, kind of looks like fur, we debride that. We kind of call that mowing grass. Let me see a probe. So you can see where we are now versus where we started. Pretty dramatic difference there. And I wanna probe and make sure there are no loose pieces there. I'm actually pretty pleased with that.